Big gaping hole. Oh my god. That's about to fall out. Rear axle, there's a hole in it there. That's the exhaust. I think I have bought possibly the worst Honda Civic Type R in the country. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I've done it again. Honestly, I promised myself I would never ever buy a car off Copart again. And for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just addicted to it. I keep buying them and they're awful. But yes, I think I have bought possibly the worst Honda Civic Type R in the country. It is so bad. Um, we finished this van, sort of. Uh, it's drivable, it's on the road, I'm using it. It makes a few weird noises and um, it looks terrible. The um, paint job is awful. That's the next thing we're going to be doing on that. It's just sorting up the paint. That'll be coming up in the next few videos. But first is this terrible, terrible Type R. So here's a few um, clips of it when it got delivered to me a couple of days ago. This is what it, it came off the trailer. I thought it had lowering springs on it. I thought, oh, okay, that could be quite nice. Nope all the springs have just snapped because it's just they're just so corroded they snapped the whole boot floor is absolutely rotten and all the suspension mounting points have rotted through completely i'm not sure if it's even savable to be honest i'm gonna um it's just up here i'm just gonna give you a little walk around it I've just taken the back carpet out and oh my god that's the exhaust honestly this is awful absolutely awful I couldn't look at it anymore I had to just cut it out so here's a picture of it before and here's what it looks like now how much I've had to cut out I mean, I've had to cut that far and I still don't think I've even cut it all out. This isn't even the worst of the rust. Honestly, the suspension hanger points at the back are almost non-existent. I'm actually quite worried about even moving this car, let alone driving it on the road. I actually think the suspension could fall out at any any moment. Here are the new springs for the front. Uh, I'm going to get it down the workshop. Let's put it down here. Hopefully... We'll be able to get a jack underneath it, even though it's almost on the floor. And have a look at this rust. Probably the only good thing about this car is it does run very well. It's 
starts on the button and it drives very well. From what I can tell, the clutch and everything feels good, the brakes feel good, although the back ones are pretty sure need replacing. This is so low, honestly. <laughs> I not I want to get it on the lift is what I'd like to do. But um not sure how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try driving it onto some blocks. Yeah, I'll just let it warm up for a bit. It hasn't run for so long that um the battery sounded a little bit like it was about to give up, so I've unplugged all the um the ABS sensors in the back when I was cutting that bit of metal out, so that's why they've got all those lights on. Yeah, it seems to run quite well. Let me show you how bad this is. I'm actually scared to go on here. I felt the axle might even fall out. It's that bad. Yeah, <laughs> this is the boot floor. This is where I've cut a big hole in it. There's more rot here. And the other side, pretty much just as rotten. This is the um, rear axle. There's a hole in it there. It looks very crispy all over. You can see, I mean, that might even end up being a hole if I poke that on off. This side hasn't broken through, but it's very thin. I'm sure if I poked it enough, I'd make a hole. Okay, let's get to the worst bit. <coughs> Here is the rear mounting point for this rear axle and this is what it looks like behind it. Oh my god. There's literally nothing holding that on. That's about to fall out. And here's the other side. Yep. Big gaping hole in there. And you can see in there straight through absolutely rotten and here's the front just to top it off here's the spring and here's the other side it's just as broken honestly guys I'm not actually really sure what to do with this one I'm not even sure if it's worth saving or I mean anyone in their right mind would break this car for parts it's got a good interior and it's got a good um, engine I mean the wheels are worth a little bit even though they're a bit curved I'm sure I'd get my money's back if I actually parted this car out for parts but that's not what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and fix it I'm gonna have to remove the whole rear axle probably replace it I don't, and then when I've got it out I can see rear, the real extent of the damage if I can find another car rear end, I can weld those hanger bits for the axles in. But the first thing I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to change these front springs because it's making this car really hard to move around and get a jack up and everything because it's so low. I've got new springs so I'm going to replace those first and then see where I go. I mean I put, I, I bought springs so I'm, I'm, I'm already invested in it so I, I've got to get it back on the road. Right, I'm going to start on the um, driver's side and uh, get on with the springs.
right, so the suspension is fixed. I mean, the front suspension, I haven't even looked at the rear springs. I know they're really rusty. Um, I've really done it this time. This car is so bad. I'm not even sure what to do. I'm going to try. In the next episode, we're going to take the rear axle out and see how bad it really is. I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be savable. I think I, can, I can't get a axle for a Type R, but I can get an axle for a normal one. And I think the only difference is the one is slightly stiffer than the other. I don't think I'm ever going to notice that if I just put the normal one in. But yeah, we're going to rip that out, look at the hangers for the, uh, for the axle itself, and I, I'm going to try and um, salvage them, but I'll be absolutely amazed if I can. If not, I'm probably just going to have to buy a whole other car or just the rear end of it, one, and, and try and do it that way. Here's what the uh, suspension height looks like now. So much better. I can actually get a jack under there, which is just a huge improvement. Lots of work to do. Loads. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next one, and we'll um, hopefully be getting this thing back on the road. I'm not sure it should ever go back on the road, but... Yeah, we're going to do it anyway.